Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. Um, so I actually have a video for y'all. Um, I haven't posted in a while, so that's kind of my fault. Um, I have been promising videos for like the past like couple weeks, and I haven't gotten a chance to do that. And I've been like super busy, as y'all know. Um, I've been putting out quite a bit of books this year and uh, this month, and Usernames Four has been blowing up, and so has Self Care. So they're both two important series on my on my page and they're just they've just been really um both of them have been really busy and uh yeah and I've just been busy you know with the real world like school and the whole fucking pandemic basically like took over my life so I've been like pretty inactive on YouTube I haven't really had time for it um that's how I actually quit my first channel because I didn't have time for it but anyway today I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how I draw my eyes um some of you may know I have been an artist for over 10 years, um, still to this day I'm doing art, so I would say about 11-ish years now. I started doing art from a very young age, I had my Windows computer, it was actually, if I think about it, it was probably a 95, like when I started with a Windows 95, um, then I had Windows XP, and then I had, I had 7, 8, and now I have 10, so I've had 10 for quite a while now, at least since it's been out. Um, and, yeah, so basically, um, I'm going to be giving you guys an eye tutorial. Yay me! Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some of my art so you get a little bit of an idea of what we're working with. Um, hopefully you can see this window. I just tried to, like, configure this whole entire program again. So, yeah, so this is basically all my art from the start. Um, these are some of my recents. Um, you can, I think I did this, like, on Monday, literally, so... Today is the 20th, and if you're, depending on what day you're watching this, I did it the week of 10, 11, 16 to 11, 20. I believe that's a Monday, 11, 16. Um, so anyway, some examples. Uh, I did this on Halloween. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do one every mo every day of the month. So, yeah, uh, here's, I'm trying to find you here. So this is like how I do my art some of my um, eyes, that's how they look, so that's what I will be showing you today, how to get that little like shading thing, uh, let me see, some of these are really fucking bad, I'm sorry, but yeah, but this is just an example of what I do, um, yeah, this is something I don't actually share, it's just something I do on the side of Wattpad, but anyway, we're just gonna get to it, why is this so big? shouldn't be that big okay so as you can see I'm gonna show you guys my brushes real quick so we get an idea with what we're working with so these are all my brushes literally every single one I have downloaded and then if we go all the way to the bottom and it says realism brushes this is what I use to do my art um, type of art I do is called realism and basically it's it's portraits you do on the computer it's digital art I've been doing digital art for a little over five years so I'll say maybe six and a half um, traditional art I've been doing probably a little bit longer if it's been 11 years um i'd say five five ish traditional art was kind of like the first thing i started and then from there i just started i was making my own characters i was making comics comics was kind of like my top thing um i had ocs to role play with i had ocs in my fan fiction so my ocs were literally everywhere um yeah, so that's something I don't share with you guys, which I should be sharing, but I have been an artist for many years, and to this day I'm still doing art. Um, so these are all my brushes. I will give you the top four that I use. It's this one. I'm going to go ahead and make a new image so I can show you. Why is it black? I don't know. Let me fix that real quick. If it lets me. What the hell? Okay. So it's very laggy, as you can see. This is what I deal with every day. So that's the closest I can get to white. Um, so this is the brush I use to outline. Um, I don't know why it's in pink. And this is kind of like, if I were to draw something, this is the brush I would use. Um, this, uh, this one I use for lettering. So if I wanted to write my name, um, I actually have pretty good handwriting, so I'll write my name. Um, that's my name. <laughs> the X is kind of fucked up, but that's what I use for writing. So this one's outlining and line art. This one's for writing. Um, these two are actually both of my coloring tools. I will change the color to show you 
how I kind of color. You will see that when I shade, but these are, they kind of look the same. This one's a little bit, uh, which one is? This one's called fill. This one's called uh, basic. So they kind of look a little bit of the same, but this one's kind of a little bit more smooth. I feel like this one's, you know, they, they do look the same, but this one's, this one's more smooth. This one is more smooth than this one. Um, you would have to know if you use the brush, so yeah. Um, and then another one, I think I said four, but I do use this little eraser from time to time. Um, this eraser is actually really handy when you're doing liner and you fuck up a little bit. It's called Eraser Small, and the eraser hard is also, I also use that from time to time, but the eraser small is probably the most convenient eraser I've ever purchased on this app. Um, yes, you could purchase brushes. Some of the brushes go for like $10, and I think this specific pack um, called... I think it's this one. I'm not even sure which one I bought. I think one of these, like, down here, I spent money on. I think the charcoal brushes were, like, $6, and I spent those, I spent $6 on those last year because, um, at the time I was doing something that had to do with, like, charcoal, and I didn't have charcoal pencils, so I figured let me do it on the computer because I have charcoal pencils on the computer. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what I was doing. Um, yeah, back in the day, I don't do that shit anymore, but yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get with the program. <laughs> that's funny because I'm on the program. Um, so the program I'm using, I probably should have mentioned this at first, but the program is called Krea. Um, it's free. There's no free trial. You just download it. All it, What you can pay for are the brushes, which is completely optional. Um, again, I, I spent $6 on brushes. I, I spent $10 on another bundle that you no longer see. It's a nature pack. I don't have it anymore because... At the time, I was doing um, different kinds of styles with, like, trees and stuff, but I no longer do that shit because environmental is not the way to go for me. I just like experimenting with faces and um, other stuff. So we're going to switch the color to black. Um, I don't know why I just did that. We're going to switch the color to black. I'm going to move this in a little bit. I can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. So this... So every time you make... Um, and anytime you, you trace over, anytime you do line art, you always want to add an extra layer. I'm going to get off the eraser tool real quick and switch to my line art brush, which is this one. Um, the difference between these two, which I don't think I went over, this one, as you can see, is smooth. This one is ink. This one's a little bit more thicker. I think if you put it, I used to do, I'm at like four, if you put it at like four, it's pretty thick. So I used to use this for hair. No longer do that. Um... I use the fill-in brush for that. And this one's kind of the same thing. It's a little bit, it's kind of like a smaller pen tool. I don't know why. Anytime I test out a brush, I always draw an S for a squiggle, which is kind of weird, but yeah. And then this is what I use for shading. This is also a shading tool, but we'll get into that um, a little bit later. These are for hair. And basically anything else you see up here is for the face, except the, the blur and the blending. Um, those are different for something else. Anyway, so the first thing I usually, uh, obviously I pick a new layer, um, or I add a new layer, and I pick the f color that stands out on the eyebrow. So I will go for something, like, a little bit darker, like this. Let me test that out. Oh. And you always want to make sure your opacity is at 100%. Usually this brush sets it to 40, because it's not made for liner. It's actually a hairbrush, but I don't use it for hair. I use it for this i actually might flip this image around because i work easier when the image is um face the other way when it's face to the left not the right Shit. um yeah so let me let me do that real quick i literally forgot how to do that for a second okay so we're gonna move that around move that in the corner and uh we're gonna yeah we're gonna move that around and make sure it's resized correctly i always fuck this up you gotta look at every corner and then i'm gonna press enter and it should revert back to the layer as you can see it flipped around up here and i'm on the second layer now which you don't see yet because i haven't drawn on it so anyway yeah i picked the closest color to it that is as dark as the eyebrow hair um the color I had was actually just fine. I don't know why the fuck I clicked off of it. What a dipshit I am. Um, we're going to go for this. Okay, so you can already see that it doesn't work with her skin, but that's okay. Um, so this eyebrow is actually a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, I guess I will fill you in on the eyebrow tutorial since it's part of the eye. 
Um, and I actually wanted to cover that anyway because the eyebrows are kind of tricky when you're making um, fine lines. But this is actually my, sorry, those are, that's what I used to edit. This is my new style. My old style is, uh, these, this is like just recently. My old style, see I kind of like applied the highlights here. My old style was just drawing the, drawing a line underneath the brow, meaning it was kind of looking like this. It would be a line. Sorry, I'm like not good at drawing lines. It would be something so simple as that. And I just hated the way that looked after a while. And I thought, um, let me switch that up a little bit. So I ended up a couple months later. This was over quarantine. This was kind of, I think these couple ones here. Yeah, like this is when I started experimenting it. This was like my last one with the, the square brows, the square box. And then I, I tried to color, I tried to draw in the hairs, which I ended up liking quite a lot. So from there, like you can see some of these are pretty old that have the square brows that I was just filling in, but other ones I experimented a little bit more. This is what the line art looks like when it's done. Um, I experimented a little bit more with drawing the hairs and drawing, there was also a little bit more detail to the lips. I don't know if I have those pictures anymore, whereas I didn't really color in the lips. They, they were just like one color. I'm going to find you the first one here. This was... One of, this was the first one I ever did. This was back in 2018. Um, you can see I blended the skin. The, eyebrow, the, the eyebrows are really fucking ugly. The eyes are not as defined. And the lips are just crooked. I do not like the lips. But this is like, this is like my old style. So you can kind of see 2018 versus 2020. This one, this is actually one of my best ones. But I didn't shade the eyes. This was like an old style. But now I'm starting to like shade the eyes, shade the brows, shade the lips everything basically you don't make the lips one color you make the lips different colors you make the eyes different colors like you can see literally there's like a fade here anyway back to the brows um we're gonna do kind of a stroke you kind of want to like follow the lines of the brows um the way that the hair grows that's kind of how you want to position your strokes um as you can see i'm not really tracing it i'm kind of just following how a brow would look an eyebrow you kind of they start up straight like this and then they kind of curve they curve they curve they curve and then you got like the point so that's kind of what I'm doing here um, trying to follow a little bit of the lines I'm not really tracing I'm kind of just drawing in the direction that the hairs go in which is what you're aiming for you don't want to trace the brow you don't want to just go like this like what I used to do that's a pretty good line like what I used to do um, you kind of just want to find where the brow hairs like meet and draw the angle. So as you can see, I'm kind of filling in where they curve at the top um, and down here and here. Uh, yeah. And all the way, all the way down, all the way down till you reach the end. This one kind of fills in, but I'm trying to like not mind the makeup I'm trying to just draw on the hairs you don't want to fill in the makeup and you're just gonna keep going keep going until you're all the way at the end and once you're at the end you can try to just make light brush strokes like this um, I usually put them all together like this as you can see here and that's kind of how I make my eyebrows I'm actually gonna take the layer off so I could show you how I did on a blank image okay so that's that um, I actually don't think this is the best so that's kind of how I draw brows. I'm going to fill this in a little bit more because it looks like it's half-assed, which is bad because I'm actually making a YouTube video. This is no fucking free-for-all. Free uh, yeah. Okay, so that's a little bit better, I guess. You don't really see it until you take the image off and it's like a plain image. So that's that. Um, I'm going to erase a little bit here with the same brush that the the hairs that go up too high. I'm just gonna like put those down a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, so that's kind of like what I'm going for there. You can kind of see, I hope that was informational. I informational, um, I'm not really good at like explaining things. So next, so every time you draw on an image, you wanna create a new layer. So this is the brow layer, or the one brow I have is a layer, and then this is about to be the eye layer. So this is what I'm actually going for. Um, in this video, I'm going to be doing the natural eye. This is what I consider natural. And then I'm going to do a makeup. And then the next two will be professional, I guess you could say. Um, 
Yeah, so we're just going to get to it. So you want to switch the color to black if you haven't yet. This one, I always have a preset for it. Well, I did rather. I don't know what happened to my brow. I had like a brow. I had a, here, a palette. Okay, so this is my palette. I don't know why the fuck it looks, it looks like that. Why? I had a palette back in the day and it used to go like right, yeah, it used to be like right here. And I think I got rid of it. Like, I don't know what happened. Anyway, so that's my palette, but I'm going to make that a little bit more thinner. Thin. Thinner? Okay. So, um, there is a trick to drawing eyelashes, and I've seen many people do it. I'm just going to draw the kind of like, I don't know what they call this, like a line on top of your eye. So I'm going to draw that on top, and then there is a way that people draw that I've actually seen where it's this, and you do something like this. When you do digital art, I don't, I don't fucking do that, so don't, don't follow that if you're doing digital art. So, next thing you want to do is kind of like draw a little swiggle. I feel like this is like too small because we're working like kind of with a big image. So, I'm going to switch to the pen brush. Is this too fat? Let me see. That's way too big. Let's see if it, if it, I actually have never experienced with this brush. As you can see, it's pretty big. I want to see if I, like, I were to draw eyelashes. Yeah, okay, we're going to use this. So for the bottom half, I'm going to draw a big angled line. Hold on, let me, so the, the actual eye starts there. I'm going to draw all the way up, all the way up, and then I'm going to curve at the end. If I can, okay. I'm going to curve at the end. And eyelashes are actually very easy to draw. You just kind of like draw up. You draw up, kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just, I keep drawing up. Up, oops, sorry. Keep drawing up. They don't have to reach all the way to the line. I'm just gonna show you how I draw them. Now here is where it gets tricky. As you can see, the, the um, eyelash goes from up to kind of like to the side. So I'm gonna show you a trick. So for this, I'm gonna start all the way up here I'm using touch screen, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. My computer is 15 inches, like, <laughs> what's it called? 50 inches up, and then across it's about 13, so it's a pretty big computer. That even made sense. And I'm going to kind of, like, curve it upwards like this. So I'm going to curve it up. This one's actually a little bit more straight, so I'm going to curve it up. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing for the other side here. I'm going to curve them up. Um, you're going to make sure that they are even. I don't want to put them too close together, so I'm going to space them out a little bit. Um, put them, put these all up. And then once I see that the eyelash is faded, I stop drawing them. Um, and here, I'm just going to fill them in a little bit, as I would with any drawing. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I feel like there needs to be something here. Maybe it's just me. Let me just see how I will look. Okay, let me fix here. Okay, so that's that. And then on the bottom, I'm going to draw a little bit of a circle. That kind of shows that it connects to the bottom here. That's why it's really ratchet. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to kind of like draw the bottom. This is kind of where I trace it because this is actually a really hard part to draw of the eye. Uh, I'm going to kind of like, oops, kind of like trace the bottom of this. Okay. That's kind of the outline. So you can see that's how we're looking so far. You want to make sure that this bottom line connects with the bottom eyelash. And then, as you can see, I'm pretty off by where the line goes, but I'm going to draw the bottom lashes now, which is kind of like the same deal for the top lashes. You just want to continue in the same pattern, and then when you see the lashes get straight, you're going to want to curve them outwards. So I'm going to curve these out the other way. That was kind of a different way that I did it just now. Um, and that's kind of how it looks. Um, I'm not too happy with the way. This is completely optional. If you want to draw like the little pink thing, we are going to color it, by the way, I'm not going to freehand this and not color it. So we're going to do that there. And then for the middle of the eye, this is something I just started doing recently. I'm going to 
select the color on the outer edge, which looks like it's gonna be a dark brown. I don't know, maybe we can get a little bit lighter. I'm trying to find the color that complements this color in the middle. So the color that here has to complement the one here. And then when we do the middle, it all has to like work together because we're, we are gonna shade the middle of the eye. What the hell? Okay. So I'm going to select, oh, that was good what I just had. So then I get to, I kind of like test the color a little bit. And this is when I switch brushes because I don't like working with a fat brush on the eyes. Set that to, to 100 and I'm gonna go maybe a two. Is that, hold on, does that look right? Okay, that looks okay. So with this, uh, you kind of want to trace the circle in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and make a straight line. And I'm going to trace in the middle. And I'm going to go all the way down, up, shit. Dude. This like bottom area is kind of hard and tricky. So you want to keep it off the lashes and go all the way up. Jesus. All the way up. Okay, there. So that's kind of my circle. Uh, I don't like it at all. It's like pretty big. Okay. And then in the middle, uh, we're not even gonna fill this uh, much in, but we're gonna do kind of like the circle that's in the middle, as you can see. So that's what it looks like. And then the, wi the white part, I'm going to fill in but this is just gonna be for reference. So make sure you're still on the same layer. Don't be adding layers. Um, like for example, don't make a new layer for the eyelashes. Don't make a new layer for the bottom part. Don't make a new layer for the, the eyeball. Keep it all in one layer. As you can see, this is all in one layer. The eyebrow is all in one layer, even though it's one thing. And then you wanna take a different brush. I think I'm gonna use the fill in tool. I have an airbrush I don't even use. This airbrush? Wait, where is it? There's an airbrush here. I think it's this. It's one of these. And I have never used it. It's just sitting in here. So the airbrush I use for shading. This stuff, like, I don't even use anymore. Okay. So we're going to do... I also use this for coloring, but not the time. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to make the opacity go down. I kind of leave the opacity when I'm coloring at least a six. At least when I'm doing eyes. And we're going to select... We're gonna get on the right fucking layer that we're gonna do. We're gonna go in the opposite layer and make sure that we are underneath the eye. So what I just did, here's the eye layer. You wanna click the one below it so we can draw underneath, basically. So I zoom I like to zoom in pretty close. Um as you can see this this zoom here says a thousand four sixty seven. Um and I'm going to go ahead and select a color and I'm going to kind of like fill it in. Now you're going to notice when I fill it in, I'm going in circular motions because you want to layer the colors. Sorry, I'm trying to get the thing I use to select colors with the, the button that I use is kind of wonky. It picks, as the, it picks the same color sometimes with the weirdest shit ever. I fucking hate it. Um, but we're going to kind of work with it for this video because I can't really do anything about it. Um, I've been using this computer over five years. I can't really do much about that. So yeah, I'm going to keep selecting the color in the bottom. Sorry about that noise in the computer. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of go around the eye. You kind of see what I mean. I'm gonna go around the eye, going around the eye, going around the eye, selecting a color each time I move. I'm gonna select a color. Now, the quickest way you can select colors is hold control and then click on the part. So I would click on it and it picks it up, but the control on my keyboard is a piece of shit, and sometimes it's really wonky and it doesn't select the color. What I used to do was take this, select it, go back, and then fill it in, um, which is another way you could do it, but I'm just telling you the command for that is control, I, th I believe it's the same on Mac, com um, command, and then you kind of go all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in, um, just, I won't talk, I will just fill it in <laughs> like a normal person to show you that I'm coloring it in step by step. The colors might look at first that they're just all, uh, all over the place and they're not like blended together, but once we shade in the middle, you will start to see that the colors do blend together and they that's why I'm drawing them in circles because they will overlay each other. Um, 
quite a bit once you notice it in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and color all this in. Sorry, you can see that I'm like missing places. We're gonna get to that at the end. I'm gonna show you guys how to fill in the holes. Cause like, that's actually one of my biggest struggles when I started realism. I used to be so stressed out about the holes in the middle of the portrait. I will show you what I mean when I, if I open one of my old projects, I'll show you what I mean. But there were always like the little white spots in the picture and I always had to like go through and get rid of them. But I have a easier way to take care of that. So we will, get to that towards the end of this art line art that we're doing. So here's how it's looking. So once you get here, I'm going to just kind of do the same thing only with darker colors or brighter colors. And I'm going to just be picking each color. This actually takes quite a bit of practice. Um, this took me a while, this whole shading technique thing. I actually didn't know that I wanted to do this until I saw a video of this guy shading it in without the liner. And then I figured, why doesn't he do it with the liner? And then I kind of like started it there um yeah so i'm just going to be filling the rest in it was kind of like my own little style i gotta fucking stop talking uh here 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 i usually play music when i do this so it's kind of hard for me to not talk uh okay so here you go and then we're gonna fill in the black which is a very nice circle i got there and I'm going to fill in the black. That's not black. I'm going to fill in the black. Let's just fill it in. Whatever. Okay, and then the white. Touch up the white a little bit. Okay, and then there you go. There's the eye. I really should have filled in the white first. We're going to fill in the white right now. Um, so there's the eye. This is your actual... This is what I mean by the white spot. So I will show you guys how to get rid of that. Um, this is the eye. It actually looks a little bit more gray than usual. So I'm going to take the wand tool and I'm going to select the outer edges of the eye from the blank layer. I'm going to make sure the image is selected off. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm on the color white because sometimes it's wonky like I said. I'm going to go take my brush, put it up extra high and I'm going to fill in. Make sure that the circles that are selected are completely filled in. Then I'm going to press Control shift a which I don't know what that is on Macbook, I'm sorry. And I'm going to color that in and then I'm going to take the blank layer off, put it back on the image, and as you can see, I have that filled in. Now, for this part, I actually very rarely colored the pink part in. Um, I have a couple of past artworks where I have filled in the little white, the little pink part. Um, they're kind of hard to find. I don't know if I'm going to find really any for y'all to, sh to show you. Uh, that's, uh, that's an album cover I recreated, by the way. So here, I kind of filled it in. I didn't do it on this side. What a fucking idiot. Uh, yeah. So you can... Very rarely, I fill that in. I don't know why it's so rare for me to do that. I feel like if it's visible, I fill it in. If not, it's not really worth it. Um, it's just kind of there. So here, I don't really shade this. I kind of take a color... I mean, I kind of... I mean, I guess you can say I shave it. Shade it. Um, I take a color. I fill it in. With the eye don't doesn't matter if it gets on the white you just fill the white back in you take the color shade in the eye take the color shade in the eye okay so that's kind of like how it goes with pretty much everything i'm gonna outline this a little bit all right you kind of get the gist of it by now i think i think i think i'm good on explaining things i'm going with the bottom here if i missed a spot i kind of just fill it in with white and put the same color that was there on top of it there. Okay. Kind of looks real. Alright, so that's re realistic to me. It's kind of like what it looks like. I, I don't know, guys. I feel like this is like so boring. Okay, so I'm going to touch up the eye just a little bit. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the same layer and I'm going to go and get this brush. And this brush is actually just a highlighter. So this brush can either be on white or black. We're going to put it on white since we're shading in the middle. So you can see how it makes the colors a little bit lighter. Um, I don't really do much of this. I kind of just do it in the middle of where the eye is. 
do it in the middle. Do it in the middle and kind of big. You can kind of see that it's like glowing. See? And if we were to color this whole thing in, that's how it would look, but I don't like that style at all. This is kind of just my style, and if you're curious, you can follow along. So, yeah, that's how I basically do the eye shading. That's pretty much all I do. Um, back in the day, when I used to edit LPS, when I did LPS edits, which, you know, I could probably find work from, but I'm not going to... I don't know, we're going to do that in a different video, because that's actually kind of hard to find. So... Uh, jeez, this is, this is not the right brush at all, but I used to shade the, this part here. I don't know if I'm able to do it anymore. I actually, like, don't know if I'm able, but I used to, like, shade this part in and make it, and used to have, like, a little shadow, but not anymore. That was back in the day. I don't do that anymore, but just to give you a little bit of an idea. So then I add another layer. And if there is eyeshadow, which I'm actually just going to try this out for myself. This is a blur tool. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, I'm going to do the airbrush. I'm going to pick this color here. <clears throat> My voice just cracked. I'm going to move. Why did I do it? I'm going to move it down here. And I'm going to see how that would look if I were to, like, airbrush the eyeshadow on. Like, would that look weird? Like, I don't know. Literally, like, this is me trying to experiment shit while I'm recording because I have no idea. Uh, Alright, that's, that's pretty... Alright, that, that's a different video. If you like the way that looks, go ahead, take an airbrush, fill in the color that's on top, but not really. I don't really like that. Okay, so this is an... This is it. So, this is the eye tutorial. Um... In the next clip, I will show you how to do with makeup. I actually just recently learned how to do with the makeup, so I will be showing you guys that next. So, I'll see you in the next clip.